Next. So we're going to discuss about the step response. Step response of the system. Step response of the system. Please tell me what is step response? What could be step response? Very good. So when you are applying the input as a unit step, when you apply the input as a unit step, the response of the system is what we call as a the response of the LTA system is what we call as a step response. What we already seen is that impulse response. What we have already seen is the impulse response. It means if you apply del of t, the response of the system is h of t. Now what is important in the examination point of view is the relation between the s of t and h of t. The relation between the top s of t and h of t. u of t is something that I can write it as integration of minus infinity t del of tau d tau. Can I write like this? u of t is something that I can write in terms of del of t which is something like this. If I write del of t is having the response as h of t, u of t can be written as integration of del of tau d tau. Then can't I write s of t is equal to the integration of h of tau d tau? If I can write u of t as the integration of del of t, del of t gives h of t, the integration of del of t should give you integration of h of t. So therefore we can say the relation between the impulse response and step response is s of t is equal to integral minus infinity t h of tau d tau. Okay, integral minus infinity t h of tau d tau. Or in the other way I can say h of t is equal to h of t is equal to in terms of s of t in terms of s of t I can say it is d by dt of s of t it is d by dt of s of t I repeat once again see here we are considering an LTA system right here we are getting an considering an LTA system now when you are applying the input as del of t we know the response is impulse response h of t now the question is that step response if you are applying u of t, what is the result you are going to get? If you are applying u of t, the response is nothing but step response. Now, our point here is to have a relation between h of t and s of t. To have a relation between h of t and s of t. So here, u of t can be written as integration of del of t. u of t can be written as integration of del of t. If del of t gives h of t, doesn't the integration of del of t give you integration of h of t? Doesn't the integration of del of t give you integration of h of t? Yes, very good. It's a very good question. How? It is because of the fact that you are doing integration. What is integration basically? The integration is nothing but the summation. Additivity. And additivity will be supported by the linear system. Right? Integration, if you are trying to do the integration, basically what you are doing, you are doing the summation. If you integrate del of t, h of t will also be integrated here because of the fact that this is a linear system. Because it's a linear system, if you integrate here, here it will be integrated. So that is why you got the relation that s of t is going to be the integration of h of t. That is why we got the relation that s of t is going to be integration of h of t. Now once this relation is established, once this relation is established, now we are doing the opposite. If you want h of t from s of t, if you want h of t from s of t, you have to differentiate it. You have to differentiate it. That is why you got h of t is going to be dy dt of s of t. This is in the case of continuous time. But what is going to happen in the case of discrete time? What will happen in the case of discrete time? S of n will be equal to what? S of n will be equal to summation. K is equal to minus infinity to the value of n. H of k. Summation. And similarly, how to replace the differentiation? 
How to replace the differentiation? The differentiation can be replaced by the difference. S of n minus S of n minus 1. The differentiation can be replaced by the difference. So this is the overall relation that we have between the step response and the impulse response. It's a quite logical relation that we can have. And this relation is important in the examination point of view. Very, very important. Extremely important. The impulse response of LTA system can be obtained by the impulse response can be obtained by differentiating the unit ramp response, differentiating unit step response, integrating unit ramp response, integrating unit step response. Yes, the answer is option B. If you differentiate the unit step response, we'll be getting the impulse response.